On the faculty of the Dartmouth Medical School and New York City's Mount Sinai School of Medicine. He's also on the editorial board of the Journal of Addiction Diseases, and he'll be speaking about medication-assisted recovery. Afternoon. You're about five years old. You're going to play baseball. It's your first time. You get picked to go play right field. Because everybody knows that nothing happens in right field. So there you are, playing right field for the very first time. And you're waiting for something to happen. But nothing does. You're counting the clovers. You're looking at the planes flying overhead. And you're waiting until finally you hear yelling. And you're not sure what the yelling is about. You turn around just in time to see a ball flying over your head. And everybody is yelling at you. You get the ball. You're not sure what to do with it. And it's your fault that the game has been lost. At that point, your father walks over to you and says one of two things. If dad looks at you and says, I knew you were a failure before you went out there, then you have been programmed. Programmed not to be emotionally connected with other people. Every addict who has ever come into my office tells me a story like that. Because dad could have said, that's right, that happens to everybody. Let me take you out for ice cream and we can talk about it. Addicts don't have that father. So if you talk to an addict, you find out that the first building block of making an addict is the emotional programming that takes place in childhood. But there's a second building block. And the second building block is there from the time you're born. It's in your genes. It's the genes that make you say, the world is an uncomfortable place. It's the genes that make it so that those of you who are here today with sunglasses are wearing them because you said, it's bright outside, it's uncomfortable, I need to change that. Half of you don't have sunglasses because it's okay. The world is a comfortable place to you. The world is a joy journey. Enjoy the dream, enjoy it. But for some of you, it's not enjoyable. And that's the second building block of making somebody who has addiction. But that's not all. It takes three building blocks to build somebody with addictive disease. One is the programming, two is the genes, and if that's all there were, we'd have a bunch of people who are uncomfortable and that would be the end of it. The third building block are the drugs. You need to have the drugs available and readily available. We need to promote things like happy hour. We don't promote come to the bar and get blitzed out of your mind and then trip and fall on your way out and break your neck hour. We call it happy hour. So if you've got the genes and if you have the programming and if you have the availability of happy hour, we've built an addict. Okay, so how do we solve this problem? We solve this problem by having availability of physicians who specialize in addiction. We solve the problem by having the many community programs that are scattered around us today. We solve the problem by having medications which were indicated like Suboxone are there to let the physicians help you. So we can solve the problem and we've gotten to the point where between 75 and 90% of patients coming in with this disease are able to get better. We can get them better. And that's the inspirational story for today. This has driven me by talking to my patients over the years. This has driven me to the point of being so annoyed and distressed with how addicts are treated, so annoyed and distressed with the fact that you can be treated just like diabetics as somebody with a medical illness that needs treatment that I've decided to run for the General Assembly. Those of you with friends in Woonsocket, tell your friends, come out on Tuesday. 
Vote for Dr. Stu Gitlow. Put a physician in the House so that we have for health care in the General Assembly. So again, my thanks to you for listening today. Congratulations to Bob, who has 25 years yesterday. And thank you again for supporting Tuesday. Thank you.